good morning students so this is the second lecture of our course as i told you in the earlier lecture in this lecture we will convert the equations to exact form actually the equations which are non exact how to make them exact equations so the topic of this uh, lecture is equations reducible to exact form now there are four out learning outcomes here the very first one is what actually is a non exact differential equations means when we call an equation as non exact second is what is the meaning of an integrating factor or what an integrating factor is the third is how to find an integrating factor using the math different methods means how we can find out the integrating methods we'll basically go for the two methods one is called as the inspection method and second is called the homogeneous one these two are the methods that will be taken in this lecture and the next two uh, methods will be taken in the next lecture fourth and the last learning outcome is how to convert a non exact equation into exact equation using this integrating factor and how to find that sir solution so let's go to first of all the non exact differential equation now just for the sake consider an equation over here that is x dy minus y dx plus a within the bracket x square plus y square dx equals to 0 so my first job is to write the equation in the standard m dx plus n d form so what i do here i actually collect the terms of dx together means we write down ax square plus ay square from here and i also write y over here and we take dx common and this x dy as such now once we write something as something into dx plus something into dy you can always compare it with the standard equation m dx plus n dy equals to 0 find out what is m the coefficient of dx is m and we always integrate m with respect to 2y so the derivative is 2ay minus 1 and the coefficient of dy dy is always n which is actually equals to x and here actually i should have differentiated it with respect to x and its derivative with respect to x is 1 now since curl m by curl y is not equal to curl n by curl x so this equation is not exact so this kind of equation which is not exact we can solve them with the help of a particular factor called as the integrating factor now let's find out what that integrating factor is by the definition an integrating factor is a factor which when multiplied with a non exact differential equation makes it into an exact differential equation technically suppose i have a non exact differential equation like we had a numerical or example earlier if you multiply that non exact expression with the integrating factor you can convert it into exact differential equation and once you convert an equation into exact differential equation there are number of methods to find its solution so and one more important thing that there can be more than one integrating factor for a one non differential equation means it is not necessary that a non differential equation have only a single integrating factor in fact one expression can have number of integrating factors i'll tell you how now there are four methods of finding out the integrating factors we'll take two uh, methods in this lecture the very first lecture is inspection method in this method we look for a particular expression of this kind always remember it has to be like x dy minus y dx and if you compare it with m dx plus n dy we come to know that curl m by curl y is minus 1 and curl n by curl x is 1 and 1 is never equal to minus 1 that means this particular expression is always non exact now you can make this expression exact by multiplying with the number of integrating factor what those four five integrating factor like if you multiply it by 1 by x square you can convert into exact equation you can also multiply by 1 by y square you can also multiply by 1 by x y you can also multiply by 1 upon x square plus y square and you can also multiply by 1 upon x square minus y square that means for this particular expression there are five different degrading factor possible you can see it like if i take the first one if i multiply this one by 1 by x square 
this is the expression and if you look at this one this is more like the quotient rule of derivative what he says square of the denominator denominator as such derivative of the numerator minus numerator as such derivative of the denominator that means it is d of y by x this is the quotient rule similarly the same expression if you multiply by 1 by y square now here what do you do you take minus sign common and write the numerator like this again it is nothing but with the negative sign it is same quotient rule similarly if you multiply it by 1 upon x square it becomes the exact derivative of log y by x if you multiply the expression by 1 upon x square plus y square it becomes the exact derivative of tan inverse y by x and finally if you multiply it by 1 upon x square minus y square it becomes the exact derivative of half of log of x plus by y x minus y that means whenever you multiply a non exact differential equation by the integrating factor it converts your equation into exact equation and one equation can have more than one integrating factor let's solve it with the examples or the numericals the first numerical he says find the solution of x dy minus y dx whenever there is expression like x dy minus y dx in 90% of the cases the integrating factor is always there within the structure we just need to look at the structure seriously and concentrate with concentration and try to find out see one this x square plus y square is also there so what i do if i multiply both sides of this equation by integrating factor what happens this was the given equation and i multiply it by 1 upon x square plus y square what happens this x square plus y square goes into its denominator so this becomes this expression and this x square plus y square cancel with this one so i am left with with a into dx only and what this expression is in the earlier slide i said it is nothing but actually the exact derivative of tan inverse y by x into a into dx equals to 0 now integrating both sides with respect to uh, the given expression what we do this d and integration cancel out so i am left with the tan inverse y by x isn't it and integration of this dx is nothing but x so tan inverse y by x plus ax equals to c is the required solution similarly the next one again if you look at this one i got y dx minus x dy plus 3x square y square e x cube dx again if you look at this one there is something called y square it is here that means if i multiply the entire equation by 1 plus y square what i do this goes into the denominator this one so this expression becomes y dx minus x if it is actually the uh, quotient rule and because this y square is no more there it cancel with this one i got 3x square into e x cube dx so this was the exact derivative x by y this is the expression entirely with the next only integrating both sides this cancel with this one now if you look at this one i go to this formula if there is e raised to power certain function and the derivative of that function is also multiplied its integration is always e raised to power fx plus c see here the function is x cube and its derivative is 3x cube so the function and the derivative are there so e raised to power function it should have been actually e raised to power x cube over here i should have written like e raised to power x cube as an answer over here equals to c is the required answer right now let's move to the next question in fact we are heading toward the second method of finding the integrating factor what it says if m dx plus n dy equals to 0 is a homogeneous differential equation in x and y then integrating factor is always 1 upon mx plus n y suppose we are given x cube plus y cube into dx minus xy square dy equals to 0 since the structure x dy minus y dx is not there so you cannot think about the inspection method right so what do you do you first of all compare it with the standard equation m dx plus n dy so what is m the coefficient of dx here? it is x cube plus y cube and what is curl m by curl y it is 3 y square what is n it is minus x y square and what is the derivative of n with respect to x it is minus y square now look here here curl m by curl y is not actually equal to curl n by curl x so the equation is not exact i need to make it exact that means i need to find out integrating factor now look at the degree of each terms of m and n here here m is x cube plus y cube here each term x and y have the degree 3 because the power of x is 3 power of y is also 3 
Now look at n. What is n minus x y square? What is the power of x here? One. What is the power of y? That is two. So one plus two becomes three. So the degree of the terms of n is also three. So this kind of equation where the degree of each term of m and n is same, we call that equation as homogeneous. And once your equation is homogeneous, we know the integrating factor is always one upon m x plus n y. I put the value of m into x. Plus put the value of n into y. When we find it out, actually minus x y q plus x y q cancel out. One upon x is to power four is the required integrating factor. So now you need to multiply the equation with this integrating factor. We come up with this expression into the reaction. And if you look at this one, this equation has become exact. The moment you multiply a non-exact differential equation with the integrating factor, uh, it converts it into exact equation. So finally, you can find out the solution. How we find out the solution? The integration of m here. M is not the original m, but m is this one, which is actually a part of exact equation. Integration of all the terms of m with respect to x, keeping y as constant. Terms of n that are free from x. There is a single term minus y cube by x cube, and it is not free from x. That's why we put up zero here, equals to c. Now integral of one by x is means log x. This y cube is constant. The integral of x is to power minus one upon three x cube. So this is the answer that we are looking for. Similarly, you can look at the other question here. This is also a differential equation, which is not exact. Here the partial derivative of m with respect to y. And that of n with respect to x is not same. The equation is not exact, but it is a homogeneous equation of degree three. So you apply the formula one upon m x plus n y. You get one upon x square plus y square as its integrating factor. You multiply the equation with the integrating factor. You come up with something into d x plus something into d y. This equation is exact. You integrate the terms with respect to x means you treat this as m. You integrate these terms with respect to x, keeping y as constant. Now here, three by y is the term which is free from x. So we integrate this term, and x by y minus two log x plus three log y equal to c is the required answer. And this actually completes our first two methods of finding the integrating factor, which actually converts your non-exact equation into exact. In the next lecture, we'll go to the another two methods and how they convert the non exact equation into exact differential equation till then it's goodbye and thank you